Okay, good afternoon again. Welcome everyone to our mini lesson for today. So we are going to start our lesson and we are going to start our presentation. Now, many of you at home have already heard your little stories during Christmas time. For today, we are going to start with our story of the nativity. So I'm going to open up my tab now. It should be opening up on your screen in a few. If you're able to see the story, could you please write yes? Or you can click your camera on and signal me with a thumbs up. Nell says yes, but she can see the story. How about you, Dalia? Can you see the story? It's going to take a little while, while to load. Remember, we all have different um, internet services. Zion sometimes acts up a little bit, so just give it a little, okay? Okay, can anyone else? Kaylee says, Miss, you did not send us what to get. Oh, in time, okay? First, it goes by presentation, then afterwards, we'll work on the jam board. Okay, so if you're able to see the story, give me a thumbs up. You can put on your camera, you can show me, or you can write on the chat box and say, yes, miss, I can see it. Yes, miss, I can see it. Awesome. I can see, miss. Very good. Right. I could see, miss. You can see. All right. Um, anyone wants to uh, volunteer to do a little bit of reading for us today? No volunteers? Okay, no problem. So let me read the story for you. It says, the nativity story. A long time ago, a woman named Mary and a man named Joseph were going to be married. Mary and Joseph were good people who did what God wanted them to do. One day, an angel came to Mary and told her she was going to have a baby. The angel said, she should name the baby Jesus. The baby would be the son of God, the savior. Continue and it says, Mary and Joseph had to travel to a town called Bethlehem to pay taxes. The town was very crowded. So Mary and Joseph spent the night in a place where animals were kept. That night, Jesus was born. A new star appeared in the sky. Shepherds were taking care of sheep in a nearby field. Angels came and told the shepherds that the Savior had been born. The shepherd went to find and worship the baby Jesus. Far away, the wise men saw the new star. They knew it was a sign that the Savior had been born. They followed the star until they found Jesus. They gave him presents and worshipped him. Jesus grew up in a town called Nazareth. He learned to be helpful, kind, and obedient. He learned everything that he needed to learn to be our Savior. He always followed God's plan. Great. So we are now going to be asking someone to think what comes to your mind when you heard the story what are some of the things that you think of when you listen to the nativity story so we're going to give a couple of a um, couple of seconds i'm going to give you 10 seconds to think what comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story okay we're going to choose someone using our Wheel of things, just give it a little while. Sometimes it takes a little while to load. Like, uh, okay, it says it's not working. So, what I have to do is I'm going to quickly choose someone from the list that we have asked Nell. Nell, um, what comes to your mind when you hear the story, the nativity story? What do you think about? You kind of mute yourself, Nell. 
Hi, Miss Sonia. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miss Debbie. I'm just in and out of class. Good afternoon. I'm just in and out of class. I just want to say hi to these lovely students here, Miss. I can't. No problem. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, Miss Debbie. <laughs> Okay, I think my internet is giving me a little bit of problem. Okay, so let me let me try again. Um, Ninel, could you think about what comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story? Okay, I think Ninel is having some some internet difficulty. Okay, so we we'll try another. Jalen, can you share with us what you, comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story? Okay, um, what about Ambrose? Can I have Ambrose? I say it in the chat box, miss. You said it in the chat box. I think my internet is giving me a little trouble because the last person that I sent out message there was Dinell. I, I haven't I haven't seen any other message. I think my internet is acting up. So sorry about that. Could could you share with us though, Ambrose? So sorry, love. I think Jesus grew up just like a regular child. Okay, so you think about Jesus when you hear the nativity story and about him growing up. Okay, so I'm just going to put the word here, Jesus. Great. I'm going to ask someone else. Um, what about Iani? Iani, can you share with us what comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story? What do you think about? The birth of Jesus, miss. You think about the birth of Jesus. I'm going to write that in. So, birth of Jesus. Okay. Anybody else would like to share something else that comes to your mind when you, you hear about the nativity story? When I, I listen to the nativity story, it makes me think about um, Mary. Anybody has another answer? Sure, let me check the chat box and see if anybody has. It's still not working, still not loading. <laughs> How about you, Dalia? What what comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story? Uh, we we can't hear you. You need to unmute yourself. Okay, the uh, Dalia ha, has some difficulties. How about Ziare? Ziare, can you think about what comes to your mind when you hear the nativity story? That Jesus is the savior. Oh, I love that answer. I'm going to write that in. So you, what comes to your mind is you, you think about the Savior. And of course, our Savior is Jesus Christ. Now, I know some of you are thinking like, why are we talking about, you know, nativity? Well, because one of the main things that when we do celebrate our, our the nativity, remember the bread, is also a combination of Christmas, you know. So a lot of times during this time that you hear, oh, it's the birth of Jesus. People are celebrating Jesus' birthday. It's actually another time that people do celebrate Christmas. So I want you now to, 
let us discuss. Let's let's just throw some answers here to Miss Sonia so that she can write them down. And I want you to tell me, how do you celebrate Christmas? What is a particular thing you do with your family to celebrate Christmas? You guys can just unmute Open yourself gift. and share. Open gifts. Ooh, that's Advent. my favorite one. I'm going to like your gifts. Mm -hmm. Advent. I heard you. Okay, and um, what do you do during Advent, Jalen? What do you do? Pray. What do you do with your family to celebrate? Pray. Oh, this is a good one. So we pray, we have gifts, we pray. Is there anything else? How many of you dance? Go to church. Do you have any of you that do? Go to church. Very good. So we have here go to church. Mm, My family yeah. reads the last of Christmas story, uh -huh. eat big food, and get presents. Okay, so we have here eat food, eat food together. Uh, okay, gifts, presents, we already had that one. Um, you said the read stories. Oh, I like that one. I want to do that one for this year. So we have here read stories. Okay, great. So we can say all of these things that we do, they bring joy to us, don't they? They make us happy. They make us feel that like we are loved. There's also something particular that we can do with our family or with other people, our friends, to show them that we care for them. Now, sometimes we don't have a lot of money to be buying gifts, to be cooking food, right? <laughs> a teacher. Poor teacher is broke. <laughs> but there are small little things we can do to show people that we care for them. Praying is one of them, but there's also something special that we can do. And that leads me to today's topic. Today's topic, we are going to be looking at Christmas cards. Now, yes. For today, you are going to create your Christmas card. And you're going to do it using the Jamboard. I will show you some little features of it. Now, I want you to think, what does a Christmas card need to have? Anybody has any answer there? Miss, it means that it has to have decorations. Oh, yes. We need to try and make it as creative as possible. You know, a nice border. It has to have a lot of pictures, or not so much pictures, something that represents Christmas. Now, what, what image can we include in something to represent Christmas? Santa Claus, reindeer. Santa Miss, Claus and reindeer. We can include Jesus yes. to miss. Ah, yes, I like that one. We can place baby Jesus. We can place angels. We need to represent, I'm sorry, we need to place an image that represent something joyful, something that is going to make someone happy. You can also put your picture there as well. Did you know that? Yeah, so today you're going to be learning about that. Now I'm going to um, show you the beginning part of this. Now for those of you that have uh, your laptop and your tablet, this is going to be a little bit more, more easier for you, but those with, fun, you can, with a phone, you can still get it done. So here we have a sample of, of a card. For this sample, I want to show you how to maneuver your items. Now, first thing that you will do when you get, and you're going to get something similar to this, what you will do is that you will write your name. That way, we will know that that person is using that card, and the person will have that already has a name there, then you are going to... You're going to have to choose another one, and I'm going to write my name here. From so I'm just going to shut up so that it can fit. So once someone has your name there, that means you can't use that template anymore. You'll have to go and use another one. You'll have to click up on the slides and try to find another one that doesn't have any name. Now we have images here. We have a Santa, we have a Christmas tree, we have a gift, we have a reindeer, or we even have a snowflake. Now, we can move our pictures 
And you do that by ensuring that you have the select button, okay? You have an hour pointing. You click on the picture, and once it has like that cross, then you can maneuver it around. Let's say I want Santa Claus to be right in the middle. Let's say I want Santa Claus to be a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to click on the right side at the bottom, and I'm going to press down and drag. So my Santa Claus has gotten bigger. And of course, I'm going to maneuver him. Let's say I want him really big. There we have it. So I made my Santa Claus bigger. Now let's say I want two Santa Claus. Then I can come up to the three circles. I can click and I can select on duplicate. So I can make two Santa Clauses. So if my card is going to have three, then I can duplicate again. All right? Now let's say I don't want it, then I can delete. Let's say I don't want to use this reindeer, then I can delete. I can choose my Christmas tree, and I can extend it as well. And I'm going to make a big Christmas tree, as big as I can. I'm going to maneuver it. Let's place it up there. And I'm going to choose my gift. I want my gift a little bit smaller. And I'm going to maneuver it around. And let's say I want more than one gift. Then, back again, I can duplicate. So, I maneuver it and I'm placing more and more gifts. So, what we're doing here is sort of like a collage. Now, some of you might say, uh, I don't like how that Santa looks. I don't like how that tree looks. I would prefer to have another one. Then that's fine. That is quite fine. I just want to show you one more of how duplicate works. So, let's say we want tons and um, tons of this, this snowflake here. just want to shrink it a little bit. I'm going to click on duplicate. So I duplicate. I duplicate again. I'm creating a lot of snowflakes. And I'm just going to maneuver them around. So let's say I want to show that it's snowing. So I'm moving them around. There we have it. So we have our snowflakes, we have our Santa. I can even include more. Okay. So uh, going back to what I said, let's say you don't like these presents or you have different kinds. Well, this is quite easy. All we have to do is come to the side that says add image. Okay. Uh, for some of you, you will have to be clicking on a little button so it can show up. But when you click on add image, what it's going to do is it's going to open up. And you are going to go on your Google, sorry, your Google image search. So when you go to Google image search, we can type in here Santa. I would suggest to type in clip art. And it's going to give you a little bit more. And then what you do is it is that you would like to have. So let's say maybe you prefer to use um, this Santa here. So we click on this one and we have our new Santa. And of course, if you don't like that Santa that I had there, then that's fine. We click on the three buttons and we delete this one. Click on duplicate instead of delete. So we delete the old Santa. And we only keep the new one. So that is that is your option. Let's say we don't want to use uh, this Christmas tree. Then we go back again to add image. And instead of Santa, we are going to write Christmas tree. And we're going to keep the word clip, clip art there. And it us more options. Okay, so... Maybe you would have liked to use this Christmas tree. So we play place insert. I come and I remove the old one. Remember it's on the three dots on the side and we delete. And I move my Christmas tree over here. I drag and I make it bigger. Okay. So you can choose whichever image you would want. 
if you want the Christmas tree to the back of the presents, then what you do is that you click on order and you say send backward. So what it does is going to send it to the back and then your present will, will come to the front. You place here, bring to the front. See, now the, that piece shows that it's to the front. Bring to the front. And we can leave that one there. Okay. So here we have our little template. Now I want to show you one that Ms. Damiana had made because yesterday we were practicing. And you can take as much time as this. You guys have enough time. This is uh, Ms. Damiana's sample. So she copied her snowflakes, many, 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 many of them. See, she decided she wanted to use a snowman instead. She used a different kind of Christmas tree. She used different kinds of uh, presents of gifts that she had. And she decided for this one, she wanted to use what we call the sticky note, and she used shapes. So she decided to create her own one. So you can do that. You can place your own design. And this is actually more than one drawing, again, sorry, not drawing, but more than one picture that she has combined. So what she does is that she just makes them flow together. So you can choose as many pictures as you want, okay? I'm going to stop sharing one. Okay, so for now, I notice we have a total of 13 people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the link now for you to open up the Jamboard. And I will see, that. remember, as soon as you sign in, I want you to write in your name to ensure that you are working on that one. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to collect these cards. And in the end, I'm going to send them to you. So I said, this is the card that you created. So I'm going to send for the first one. And this is for the first 10 people that get there. On, and what is going to... Just give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to get the link and I'm going to send the link to you. Okay, if you could open up that one for me. It's going to appear in your group chat. All right. So, so far, I see Iyani has joined in us already. Great. Great. So, remember, uh, as soon as you go in, choose one of them, write in your name, and then uh, the other person will not be able to use your card anymore. Okay. Um, Great, Kevin is on the second one. Okay, Jalen is on the fifth one. Very good. Right, awesome. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and make more copies because it looks like um, we won't be able to use the other one. So just give me a little minute. Okay, remember? Just click on where it says from and you write your name. If you have trouble using that one and then you just want to type in your name, then that's fine. So we gave you some examples there that you could use. If you don't want to use those and you rather use your own one, that is fine as well. So I'm going to come to the front and I'm going to be watching to see uh, which one is it that you are going to be doing. Any of you have any questions? You can you can um, put your camera Miss, on. You can put your speaker Miss, on. Miss, how do you put your name? How do you write your name? Okay.
for that one you'll have to go on the text box okay so i'm going to go to your group and let me see which one are on what do you remember the slide that you are on seven you're on slide seven okay let me go and open seven Ah, oh, I see Danusan moving his pictures already. Awesome. Okay, so just give me a little minute. All right, Kevin. So you're on seven and you want, okay. So what I can do, Kevin, for you, I can write in your name. If you're having trouble with that, let me write in the name for you, okay? And then... um. Okay, thanks. All right. Miss... Yes? How you write your name? Okay, and what slide are you on? Six. Six, okay. So, uh, but I see Iyana is on six, sweetie. Iyana already has her name there. Miss any is that name Amber? Uh, right there where it says from. I see two people in four. Uh, let me see who is in four. Four is, is should be a mini. Okay, so I'm gonna go and check the names and see. Miss, how do you make the figures already. bigger? Miss, uh, okay. Miss, I have so, okay, just a minute, right now. So, Kevin, what you gotta do is you click on the picture. And you are going to click on the side of the picture. You could either the bottom side, okay? The bottom right or the bottom left. And you hold and you drag. Okay, I see Dalia and Anira are on the first one. Okay, so. Miss, I have copied it yes. for Google Clip Art. Okay, are you on a tablet or a laptop? Laptop. Okay, on this side, on your left side, you're going to have um, like a large bar. There's a T, there's a circle. Do you see that? Do you see on this side? Which, which side, miss? On your left side. You see on your left side, you have an arrow, you have a little box, you have a Ms. circle. Miss, how do you, you um, um, make your figures bigger? I'm on um, phone. Yes, Miss. I see, I see it. Okay. So you're going to click on the one that says add image, okay? The add image is the one that actually allows you to put on pictures, okay? Don't get it. Great. Okay. Now, Kevin, you said you are on number seven. Number seven. Okay. So I'm going to go over to your one and I'm going to go and give you a hand. Okay. Miss, I insert a picture and it's Miss, I can't write my name. Okay. Hold on. Iyani was saying something to you. What was it? Miss, I paste the picture, but it's just loading, Miss. It's loading. Okay, so some of some of the things is going to take a little longer. Remember that because of the internet, so it takes a little bit longer. Miss, I can't write my name. Okay, miss. Okay. Miss, right. left okay. it, Miss. I don't figure out how to make the home figures bigger, Pamela. Okay, great. Sorry about that. This, my one is also taking a little bit longer. <laughs> so, I'm miss, going I to can't write my name. Okay, so I'm going to go to the ones that with the names, and I'm going to go on and, and help help people out. Um, who's for number one? Number one doesn't have any name, but I see two people there. I see Ninel, and I also see Dalia is in the first one. But I think this should, this should be Ninel, right? So, Ninel, I'm going to write in your name for you. And I'm going to move it here. Great. All right. So you guys are experimenting. I see uh, Ninel is, is trying with her pictures. Very good. Uh, right. 
Okay, for two, we have Denilson. Awesome job, Denilson. I love your, your sleigh, your Santa, and your reindeers. I love that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to... Um, I'm going to stop recording. Maybe that's going to help us, okay? But so far, we are doing an awesome job, guys, okay? So just let me stop recording, and hopefully that is going to help us.